Blog Talk Radio. Okay, so here's our show for the night that we're calling officially new name here. You ready? Okay. It's only the other guys, not Snipo. Oh, because he's not here anymore because he doesn't have a mic. Right. See, we can call it that. Only the other guys now. So we'll just try to let only other uh, only the other guys, and then we could put like a dash or something, not Snipo. See, new name, totally. I suppose so. I noticed that one's not getting shot down right away. It's not getting shot down because I've shot down so many. I feel I need to wait a little bit before shooting this one down. Oh, like now, shooting it down. Oh, now you are. I was going to say, don't be this one the one you're not going to shoot down. <laughs> really? Well, oh, great. Okay, so, um, well, it's just me and him. So we'll be bouncing off each other tonight with whatever. Who knows? We're all kinds of gambits of subjects. Um, here, we'll just go down the list of things I've got, and this will be kind of interesting. Or not, because I'm supposed to work that one into a conversation. That's yeah, not probably not so well. Hmm. Well, I know. I could always try to have a conversation with myself. That may work. That could work. I'm not seeing it work, but oh, you know what? We could do the bucket list. It's just oh, bucket list. Yeah. Do you have a bucket list? No, but I mean to write one. I just always come across things. I never have a chance to write them down. In today's technology, how did you not write them down? I just forget it. You got a cell phone, I don't have, right? I don't have to. Yeah. Text yourself. Mm, never really bothered with that. I do it all the time. Anytime I'm like out and about and I need a note or whatever, and I got, I'm like, ah, 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 grab my phone, text myself. So normally if I need to note, make a note to myself, I'm normally on my computer, so then I email it to myself if I'm like on a computer somewhere else. Same difference. But, you know, I mean, I just... Usually if I'm at the computer, though, I've got, like, all kinds of other stuff. I'll put it in the calendar or I'll put it in a to-do list. No, no, I'm just making references, like, if I'm on a different computer, like I'm over at a library or something or the like. So that's where Google comes in. Log into Google, get a list, da-da-da. That's what I do with the show stuff. Any show thing I think of, I actually have Google it up on there and I make a show note real quick. It's easy. So, Chris, what's on your bucket list? Um, I don't have one. <laughs> you don't? But my wife says. I do have, like, a list of general things I could probably bring up. Like, one. Different, like, wait. I've always wanted to go down at least fighting a bear. It has, that's one of the best ways, I would assume. Fighting a bear to not be... You can't say I'm going down fighting a bear. That's not a... Really? Are you sure? Yes. I mean... Because that's not on a... That's just a... I think it's uh, like blood in me that I feel I have to die in battle. And I feel the best option, the best heathen to bring down with me is a bear, those bloody monstrosities. Well, you, you watch too much Legends of the Fall. Don't watch that. That's what yeah, it, it's their monstrosities. I'm just telling you, that's what it is. You watched too much Legend of the Fall. Like I'm it or not. I haven't seen him. Yeah, you have. You just don't know. See, because he goes down fighting a bear. It's an horrible way to go down. They're monstrosities. They yeah. must be stopped. Well, that's how he goes down. You know, it's, matter of fact, it's the same bear he fought when he was younger. The bear finds him. Kills him. That's how he dies. It's a good death. Totally. Indeed. So, yeah, my wife's got a list, like, uh, bucket list that I've actually been working on for years. You know, some of the things I've actually done, some of the things I haven't done, but, you know. Oh, here's some of them, yeah. I still need to get her go to a formal. Where do you formal? even, yeah. Wait, what do you mean by formal? Like, where you wear the fancy dresses and suits and stuff. Like a formal dinner, a formal dance. Formal dance. I don't even know where to get a formal dance thing at now, but yeah, that's basically yeah, formal dance. So she had to buy a fitness machine. We did that one. We got a passport done. Uh, she got a body wrap done. She's got wants to go square dancing. Really? Square dancing. Square dancing. I'd imagine a visit the pyramids would be somewhere around a good decision to put on a bucket list. No, no, no. Okay. I I should specify this. There is the bucket list that's organized, okay? There's easy to, things to get done. There's hard things to get done. And then there's, like, even longer projects to get done. And then there's those, like, dream things that, like, when we're rich, right? You know. Like, I should own my own helicopter. Yeah. Like, that'd be a bucket list thing that you kind of go, if I ever get rich, maybe. So... But 
Otherwise, you'd like, yeah, you know. Oh, hi, Gringo. Hi, man. What's going on, man? We have a third. We're all alive. Yes, we are. We're already talking. We're we're discussing bucket lists. Do you know? Do you have one? What? A bucket list. Uh, I don't know. Um, a bucket list is a series of things you would like to do before you die. AKA uh, kick the bucket. Yeah, I don't have one. Um, Snipo says, "Una lista de que so what the heck is that word? Hakaseris? Did I even get close? The, yeah. Does that how you say it? Yeah, yeah. Una lista de que... Okay. So it's the list K of... Is that of K? K of? Of... What is that? What's that word mean, though? Is that to-dos? Yeah. See, that's not what it is, though. Because a to-do list is like a thing your wife makes you. <laughs> this is like a thing that you actually want to do. You know, like, like for example, have you ever been um, skiing? Yeah. Okay. Um, snorkeling? Yeah. Skydiving? Yeah. What the heck? Own your own pet shark. Yes. No. Okay, so <laughs> like if you if you wanted to own your own pet shark, good one, <laughs> you'd put that on your bucket list. I don't oh, know yeah. why you would, but I, you know. You, well, there's a I, there's a large reason to want to know sharks. First, I think I have one thing. I have I, like uh, driving a F1 car. An F1, yeah, truck Fuel. or like an F1 like. Uh, Is it Formula yeah. One or yeah, Formula, Formula One? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You want to own one or drive one? Drive one. Oh, well, you can do that here, no problem, dude. It's fairly easy. Yeah. Yeah, you you can rent them for the day. I mean, they, you, they keep you on a track, and you just go zooping around the track, you know. Lots of insurance and stuff. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, but why wouldn't you want a pet shark? I mean, first of all, they're cool. And second, <laughs> in the event you capture James Bond, you have the perfect pool to dangle him over. Oh, totally. So, <laughs> so is that on your bucket list, or Stephen? Oh, of course. I've always wanted a shark. What would you name it? Hmm. I think Jones would be a good name for a shark. Jones the shark. Yeah. Would he, or would it just be Sharky Jones? Yeah, just Jones <laughs> the shark. That way when I push him to the shark pit, he's then devoured by Jones. I can respond, oh, Jones, you rascal. Hmm. Wow. All righty. So we're, we're, eh. Okay, so then um, let's see. We were going over uh, my wife's bucket list, which she has all kinds of amazing, wonderful things. But, like, some of these things are pretty easy. Like the square dancing. Okay, I just find a country bar somewhere, we go square dance, and no big deal, right? Isn't that more of like a punishment than a positive, square dancing? Well, no, no, these are hers, not mine. So these are things she wants to do. They're punishment lists for me, yes, on some of these. You know, but uh, like she's got a wine taste at any time, right? It's just a matter of setting it up, blah, 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 right? Yeah. So those are like fairly easy to do things. Then there's harder to do things that are like, these are things I can't really help her with too much, but I can try. But then some of them are like, Lay on the beach. Okay. Really? Okay. Well, the hard part of laying on the beach would be getting her to the beach. You know, not necessarily laying on the beach. That'd be fairly easy. But I got to get her to the beach. You know, and then That's you got to be. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, um, the closest beach is horrible, so I wouldn't take her there. So I've had to take her to Florida, to which case that's an 18-hour drive. Oh. So yeah, it, it, it'd be a harder thing. Yeah. 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 Spend all day at a body spa place. I actually should that one now. So that one I can actually check on off on her list. That's pretty cool. Um, then she has like um, um, family photos, go horseback riding on the beach. Had to be on the beach, didn't it? Could just be horseback riding. Um, then she has like longer project things, okay? This would be like finished college. Okay, we're we're working on that, but that's not one of those things you can just do, you know? Yeah. But then a lot of time. Yeah. So then you have these things that like she has that are long, long uh dream things. These would be the normal things, right? So she's got like scuba diving, sailboating, uh, water skiing, skiing on snow, snorkeling, parasailing, skydiving. We're doing that one uh, in July here real soon. Uh, 
She wants want to hear good. Want to hear something? Very, want to hear something I learned from skydiving when my uncle went? Sure. Do you know what the most frequently asked question is in, in a skydiving class? Um, what altitude does the parachute open? No. What if I pee my pants? How long do you have to live if your chute doesn't open? Oh, really? The answer: the rest of your life. <laughs> wow, that's a uh, pretty good. Because if no, you just to, uh, just to really get you in the mood for skydiving before you go, of course. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, just you know, how long is that though? Well, we don't know. You might bounce. Sure. Hmm. Maybe she can stop it for you so we can be sure. Yeah. Okay, so the rest of her stuff is uh, New York, uh, visit, go on Alaskan cruise, go to Walt Disney World, Hawaii. Actually, I don't think you can go on Alaskan cruises anymore. I think they're just having the very last few. What do you mean they're having the last few? Yeah, no more Alaskan cruises. Why not? I don't remember. I was talking to my neighbor about it. She goes on a lot of cruises, and she normally loves to go to Alaska. But the cruise line that runs the Alaskan cruises, I guess they're closing down shop in Alaska. Oh, there's three of them, so we'll be good. You can go with three, di- yeah, three different co- co- uh, companies do Alaskan cruises, so I'm good. Okay. So, anyway. But yeah, it's, then uh, visit Spain, Italy, Europe, Switzerland, Germany. Long, long, long. Yeah. You've done those? Yeah. What the heck? How have you been doing these more than we have? The last two nights, I, I went to Europe. How'd you do that? Ah, I, uh, I stayed like a year. You um, stayed for a year? Yeah, I stayed for a year. And go go in in hostels, not all hotels. Dude, we didn't go to Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty hard in that long time. Imagine, but I'm just saying, I can't. I, it would take me more than a year to say that. Yeah, but I'm I'm alone. I'm not married. I don't have kids. What's your point? <laughs> no, that all things are spending and I don't have. So, in other words, what you're saying is I did it all wrong. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just didn't do it in a manner which would allow you to go to Europe. Come on, yeah, of course. And so what? I've got the wife and five kids. That's five like, kids? That doesn't mean much. Dude. Dude. Yeah. Five. Five kids and about to be, I got one grandkid about to be two. Man, that's a lot. Well, you know, it, just, it, it was fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm a happy, happy man. Yes. See? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I don't hack. I have the kids. Hush. <laughs> What's stepping in? Oh. Yeah. So, here's a funny question for you. Do they? Do you? Okay. I don't even know if this this applies to you know, Argentina. Argentina. Why do I keep wanting to say Argentina? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. So, okay. Quick question yeah. on on this thing. Um, what's your favorite breakfast cereal? Oh, because you can't ask Greeno right now? I'm not Greeno, I mean a Snapper right now. Yeah. I guess, I guess, Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops? Yeah. Really? Hmm. Yeah. You still seem like a fruity, you, you don't seem like a fruity guy. Yeah, I'm a fruity guy. You are a fruity guy, really. That's... Yeah. I have, I have one cereal here named, named uh, Nesquik. Nesquik? Yeah. Yeah, they make the, the the milk mix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we have cereal, Nesquik. Nesquik cereal. Yeah, it's, right. a, it's chocolate. Well, it's we have, balls we, of chocolate. Yeah, we have cocoa puffs. Not Nesquik. Yeah, I don't know what it's. What it's. Well, that's what I, it is. Yeah, we don't have cocoa puffs here. Well, yes, you do. You call them Nesquik. Ah, okay. See, we we. That was actually a discussion we was going to have with you. Was what the heck? You didn't know what the cocoa puffs was. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the brown. Well, okay. So here, let me send you what cocoa puffs look like, and you can decide. Because I'm telling you, they're maybe your Nesquik things. Let's see, cocoa puffs. Yeah, do that. You cocoa puffs. What is that? Cocoa puffs. Cocoa. B O O P. C O C O A puffs. I'm telling you, the amazing wonders of Google and what it brings. Yes, it brings you how to know how to say cocoa puffs in Argentina. 
I'll go there and now I know how to order. I'll be like, I need breakfast. Um, next week. See, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought cocoa puffs means next week in Spanish? That's awesome. So wait, 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 wait. It's not, no, no, no. It's not the same. It's, it's not, different. How's it different? It can't be different. It's got to be the same. Because in my head it's the same, so that means it must be the same. Ah, Nesquik is a bunny. First, like, oh, really? Before it's the same. Yeah. Okay, get past the bunny. Go look at <laughs> the cereal. <laughs> it's, it's, it's different. It's not the same. A typo helps me. Yeah, one's a bunny, the other's a bird. Get with it. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies, I didn't understand. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, the form of the of the cereal is different. Uh, yeah, but I mean the cereal is the same, right? The cocoa puffs is all the all chocolate. Yeah. Uh, so so, so yeah. 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 Forget looking at the box. The cereal's the same. So see, I I was right. Who'd have thought? That cocoa puffs means Nesquik in Spanish. <laughs> See, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, um, I have heard stories in the past that certain corporations will actually have slight, uh, di- uh, slight differences in their products depending on which country you're in. Yeah, you should know Chevy that. I like the Hanukkah notes too. Hey, hey, Gringo. Yeah. Have you ever owned a Chevy Nova? No. <laughs> Chevy Nova. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a Chevy Nova? Yes. You have? Yeah. It's pretty nice. I'm not a car guy, but I didn't yeah. think something go wrong, correct? Um, no, the Chevy Nova. Um, here, Gringo, uh, is, do you speak Spanish? Yes. What does Nova mean in Spanish? Uh, nothing, I guess. No, it Nova. means nothing. Snipo, you want to do it? What does Nova mean? Simple's not doing it. Okay, so it's a well-known little thing from back in the day, okay? Nova meant no-go, basically. Does that translate for you? Yes, Nova? Does that translate yeah. no-go? Like, I guess it's a start. Yeah, no. okay. Yeah, so no-go. So they uh, tried to, in Mexico, sell the Chevy no-go. <laughs> <laughs> and how did the sales on that turn out? Not so well, surprisingly. Yeah. Oh, so it's no va. So it'd be the Chevy no va. No go. Gotcha. <laughs> so Snipe, even though he's not on the show, he's helping as a, the background tech support guy. Yes. So it'd be the Chevy no va. To which case we would say it, I'm sure, you know, with our Texas draw, would be all that. Chevy no va. And y'all be like, I'm not buying that thing. Uh-uh. But yeah, true story. Didn't sell so well. Who would have thought it? So, anyway. Okay, so um, we've got uh, Cocoa Puffs for our Nesquik. Yeah. And then um, I think a, Snipo said his was what? Raisin Bran? Was that it? Raisin Bran. I think that's what he said. It was Raisin Bran. Yeah. Yeah, Raisin Bran for the win. He <laughs> says door to win. Raisin Bran, door to win. Yeah. No, you said door to win. We're sticking with that. Can't say it now. Type it, not my problem. So, what's your favorite one there, Steven? Let's see. I got to go with Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch? Yeah, Captain Crunch. Never heard of it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Maybe they only have it on the East Coast, especially like that, you know? Uh uh-uh. uh. Never heard of it. I've heard of Colonel pretty- Crunch or Commander Crunch. I'm pretty sure it's Captain Crunch. No, it's Commander Crunch. Are you sure? Yeah. Because I just I recently saw it on Colbert Report, and he, I'm reasonably sure he said Captain Crunch. Oh, yeah, he said it wrong. No, it's it's Commander Crunch. <laughs> Here, check the link. It's Commander Crunch. I'm not sure I just believe this. Don't believe it. Read it with your own ears. Yeah, read it with your own ears. Awesome. Here, check. There's for all the chat people. It is Commander Crunch. Captain Crunch would be a uh, imposter. Oh, uh, <laughs> this. See, 
they care enough about the fact that it's called Captain that the Navy is going to take offense to that, evidently. No, it's not the Navy taking offense to it. They asked the Navy, and the Navy confirmed his uniform is not that of a captain. It's a oh. commander's uniform. Therefore, oh. he is not Captain Crunch. He is Commander Crunch. I don't think that warrants a change of it. That is the name he chose. If you want to demote him and make him a captain or something, that's on you. But he is Commander Crunch. Are you sure he's not just the captain which likes to dress up for the occasion? <laughs> Do you automatically assume that a uniform makes the man? Um, not his so, accomplishments let me, behind them? Let me get this straight. You think the colonel wants to dress up as a general, you know, for the occasion? Oh, of course, you know. Uh, no. A little bit of flair on. Yeah. See, I'm with Sniper on this. He says that the commander sounds tougher. See? They should be Commander Crunch. It's a kid series. Commander Crunch sounds like there's a hard military man is trying to force feed children some sort of puff cereal. He is. Look, it's not my problem that y'all picked a commander to, and tried to call him a captain. Don't insult the man. Tell him for what he is. He's Commander Crunch. I think he needs sunglasses to be Commander Crunch. Nope, that's why it's a hard-ass cereal, and it doesn't break down in milk so quick. Commander Crunch. See? I think it feels up for debate, but I keep hearing ping. So what's Sniper up to now? He's, he's, he's agreeing with me. Oh, I see. See? He says it should be a hardcore breakfast cereal, and I agree with him. Commander Crunch. But are you sure the children of the day are ready for a hardcore cereal? It doesn't matter. They need to grow. Quit being so soft. That's the problem with today's kids. Commander Crunch cereal, fix that. Go so. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's well, like, we have to start somewhere. Yeah. Hey, do, do uh, any of y'all have beards? I, I have do. Beard. You have a beard? More than that. Well, I like to keep it trimmed. Yeah. Well, it trims fine. Just you know, beard. Not a bird. A beard. On your face. How does he misunderstand that word? Gringo, you have a beard? So do, do, Well, you don't have a girlfriend or anything, so you, yeah. I can't ask if you're... Oh, you, do you have a girlfriend? Yes. Does she ask you to shave it? No. No? Well, if she does, ever, which she will do one day, if she ever does, tell her no. I cannot <laughs> shave it because that's not as healthy. I need to keep my beard so I'm healthy. The beard is healthy? Yes, it's very healthy. They found this now, okay? Interesting. It appears that beards uh, uh, for sun protection, blemish-free skin, more masculinity, natural moisture, and it traps allergens. Yep. Let me see. See, so if you have allergy problems, you should have a beard. I can show you my beard. I don't want to see your beard. I just was asking if you had one. So, but yeah, you you, you uh, should should have a beard because it helps you stay healthier. See, no sunburns or anything. You don't have pimples or anything. At least you can't see them. You know. Although I'll admit, when you get one under your beard, ugh, it's annoying. But anyway, and I do. You're you're much more. Well, okay. We need to specify this part here. You're much more masculine until your beard starts turning gray. Once it starts turning gray, uh, the the you are old. Your beard is gray. You are old. Yeah, that whole masculinity part kind of. Well, it it gets harder. Put it that way. <laughs> so, because then you're all like, "I am a cool dude," and they're like, "Um, you your beard's gray," and you go, "No, it's got red highlights right through it," and they go, "No, your beard's gray." And you're like, "Look for the thing, red highlights." Like, <laughs> Well, the article does make sense because pretty much looking back at high school and how many of the under, uh, underclassmen would be talking about their evidently growing mustaches, but I didn't really see anything. I started growing a full beard by the first year of freshman. Oh. Actually, we have to uh, send a shout-out to Mr. James, who's wondering if we're really live. <laughs> yeah, we're really live. We're, yeah. really, we're really this bad. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we have good nights. This is not one of them, but, you know, it happens, so, yeah. Right. It's funny. Hey, you should join the show, James. Do you want to call in? 
we need something to rant about which does not involve beards. Now, yeah. don't get me wrong. A discussion about beards is never a bad thing. Yeah. But it's not something you can really rant about. Because yeah, it's an established fact that beards make people better. Yeah, James fact. has a beard, kind of. Yeah, At see? least he oh. did have a beard. I don't know if he still does. James, call in. It's 213. Or 3. 3434. Three, four. No one's ever going to call in. I'm trying to get my first call in person here, you. It's not going to happen. I can feel it. Come on. He's actually at work right now. What the heck? Well, he can listen to it while he's at work. That's fine. You know, people do that. I won't take offense to it. Whatever. So, yeah. Nah. So, but, yeah, beards are much healthier things and blah, blah, blah. See? You should have a beard. But not those ear things. Not ear things? Sheep, sheep oh, ears. sideburns. Or no, no, it's not, not sideburns. Just... Sideburns are fine. You want to do sideburns? Elvis it up. Go right ahead. It's it's the ear things. What are those? Ear things? things? I can't. The, that's not much for me to go on. The disc things in the ears. Oh. Oh, the piercings. No, no. Those, okay, piercings was weird enough because that was going on when I was a kid. What the heck? You're piercing your ears? That's a girl thing to do. And then, like, so it became the popular thing. You're all like, oh, get your ears pierced. And then, and then, like, it became a gay thing if you had, like, the wrong ear pierced. And so about the time I was ever debating on whether I wanted to get my ears pierced or not, I couldn't keep up with, with which ear meant what. And I knew I'd just jack it up. And you couldn't just pierce both. That was gay, too. So I was like, you know what? Skip it. I don't need to do it. Just, no. Don't need it. Just tattoo a star on your face and call it a day. Okay, cool. Just, wait, wait, wait. Just, if you tattoo a star, is it on the left side or the right side? Directly in your forehead, like the old Dr. Seuss story. The it's like in the top on your forehead? The dead center of your forehead. That way it, you don't anything. Okay, well what color is the star? Blue. It, so you gotta you get it might you might have a problem. What's that? <laughs> because I mean blue might be like uh, secretly you're saying you're a smurf and you know that becomes a, a thing. Yeah, you could don't be worry. a as long as you're not small enough to be a smurf, it's fine. But you you you're saying you're a Smurf though. I mean, you know, who knows, dude? You could find out. It means a secret message for something. Oh, I mean, it probably is. There's a secret message for everything. These it's, days. it's on your forehead. So it, it could be It'll bad. Never go away. Yeah, and you're stuck with it. So yeah, anyway. But yeah, and, and then you, you what are you going to get? Laser hair removal on your forehead, or not? Not laser hair removal. Laser tattoo removal. That's it. On your forehead. No, you have to merely cover the uh, tattoo with a new or better tattoo. And every You're, next year, you get a new tattoo to cover the old tattoo. You, you made it blue already. I know. Now there's going to be like a dragon with a blue star in the center. You, you, you really? and then it'll be a tiger with a dragon inside of the tiger and you, the star inside the dragon. You're gonna you're gonna have a dragon on uh, with a star in the center, but the dragon's feet are gonna be like stepping on your eyeballs. And like a walrus, and then a dragon inside of the walrus, and then a yeah. Oh no, my sake. A tiger inside the walrus, a dragon inside the tiger, and the star inside the dragon. Wow. And you just keep going picking new animals into your entire body's hair with tattoos. And then eventually we'll just say we got a there's a cootie on a wing, on a flea, on a fly, on a word, on a frog, on a wolf, on a log, on a hole in the bottom of the sea. Exactly. See? Only we'll do it in reverse and it'll be like a um bottom of the sea and in a log and a you know, what is it? And a flea wing flea fly rock bump log, yeah, bump. And then a wart and a frog and a frog. Oh, it'd be a frog and a on a bump. And then the wart is a frog. And it, man, this is hard to go backwards. And then the, <laughs> the fly is on the the wart. And then the the cooties on. Uh, I'm sorry. And then there's a wing on the fly. And then the cooties on on that. You ready? Troubles, my friend. Maybe. Is that all of them? I'm listening to all of it. I might have got them. Okay, now we do the alphabet backwards. It's Z. Why? Because just see if you could do it. Z, you're supposed to do this when you're drunk. Have you seen Z? Um, I'm Irish, so it's kind of implied I'll become why? a so I'm avoiding drinking. Okay, we'll try to do it correctly for you. Go A, B, C, what? Do it. A, B, C. What comes after that? D. And? Am I actually going to have to do the alphabet? Yeah, because we've got to prove you're the show. <laughs> <laughs> now, now do it while you're walking around your room touching your nose. On one leg, I assume. No, you can keep two both legs. That's silly. One leg would be just be crazy. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the show, and uh, maybe you'll come back tomorrow. Um, 
Nice seeing you, Dan. And have a good day. Bye.